Hey guys, it's Zuko. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Zuko. I make beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and skincare videos. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about my journey to becoming a back sleeper. So a little backstory, a couple weeks ago, I was doing my skincare routine or filming a skincare video. And I noticed that I had really prominent neck bands on one side of my neck. And I was like, what the heck? What are these from? Have I always had had this why are these here like I was kind of freaking out about it and then I realized oh my gosh it's on one side it so it must be from my side sleeping tendencies I am a side slash face sleeper so I'm either sleeping like directly smashed face or kind of to the side or just in very bizarre twisted up positions like I really do fall asleep in the weirdest positions but I noticed it causing some bands on one side of my neck it's probably doing it to my face too I just can't notice yet so yeah after spiraling down that rabbit hole I decided to do something about it and I actually ordered a face pillow off of Amazon so the pillow that I decided to get is the Your Face Pillow. It's an anti-aging beauty pillow. It says the natural solution to beautiful skin. Basically, this pillow is a very oddly shaped pillow meant to fit perfectly around your head so that you can stay sleeping on your back all night long. It also says that it soothes neck pain, decreases acne, and reduces wrinkles. These are very bold claims coming from a pillow, but I really want to become more of a back sleeper. It's better for your overall just health and definitely helps in reducing any, any wrinkles or probably acne too that you would develop. Imagine your face being squished up like this for eight hours a night, every night. Of course, you're gonna see a difference between this side in this side doing that because you're sleeping for such a long period of time so I really wanted to get serious about my sleep so I have been using this neck pillow for about two weeks now I have been vlogging my journey with this and kind of giving you guys little updates on how it's been going for me if I've been able to sleep with it just everything about my personal experience and that you would need to know if you're looking into getting some sort of back sleeping beauty type pillow so I'm gonna insert all of that footage here now and you can see how my experience went good morning it's day three with this pillow i slept a little crazy so my pillowcase is falling off i'd say i slept with it tonight for about 30 percent of the night like i used it for a little kind of was on my sides using it for a little switched to other pillows for a little came back to this like kind of just all over the place. I think it's gonna be a big adjustment, but getting used to it a tiny bit more each night that I sleep on it. So, so we'll see. I mean, it's not, I'm not sleeping through the night with it at all as of right now. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we can build up to that very soon. Okay, you guys, another night with the my face pillow i can't say that i'm necessarily looking forward to sleeping with this tonight because it's a bit of a nuisance but i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna have like a flat hairstyle going to sleep since you're sleeping on the back you don't want like a bun or anything poking your head out so i'm gonna put my hair in a couple of braids and hopefully conquer back sleeping tonight Good morning, you guys. I look so crazy this morning, but let me show you where my pillow ended up today. Yeah, on the floor, on the side of my bed, wow. Yesterday, I wasn't feeling very well. Like, I I wasn't feeling very well. It was that time of the month. I just felt so sick. I felt like I had, like, back pain or, like, indigestion or just, I don't know, laying down was not comfortable for me. So, I didn't want to be laying flat on my back because I feel like it was not making me feel good. So, I ditched the whole pillow <laughs> and just reverted back to face slash side sleeping for the night. I'm not too mad about it. I got a pretty good night's sleep. I only woke up a couple times from in pain. So, and I feel so much better this morning. So I think that was much needed. You know, it's a process. We will try again tomorrow. Operation back sleeper is still in full force. I have not given up on it. So yeah, that was last night.
I slept pretty good last night, but still I feel like there's just too many pillows on my bed for me to stick with only sleeping on this one all night long. But I discovered a new tactic, which I think I'm gonna take a little nap. I know I kind of just woke up, but I woke up too early. So gonna take a nap. And my new thing is to put a pillow straight over my face so it still feels like I'm sleeping on my face. So this is where I'll be. Um, Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh. I always look so crazy in these because I film literally right the second after I wake up. But I have some, whoa. I have some good news about my pillow. Last night was my most successful night with this thing so far. I slept for the majority of the night. I didn't even move. Like when I woke up, I was in the same exact spot I was when I fell asleep. And it's not because of this pillow. It's because I fell asleep with my noise cancellation on with my headphones on in the pillow. Like I was wearing my headphones, knocked out while sleeping. And when I tell you I was out like a light, I did not move. I slept on my back. It was incredible and amazing. And I never knew how much like sound affected your sleep until having no sound and sleeping so good. So, wow. I think I've discovered something incredible here. I'm just kind of scared of sleeping in these because I don't want to ruin them. But last night was definitely a success. Wow, our first night sleeping, sleeping all the way through with this pillow. My mom woke me up at like 6.30 just to say bye to me. And after that, I did not sleep with this anymore. But this was our first successful night. Wow, it was a good night. <laughs> it only took however many days, Jesus. So yeah, it's definitely been an uphill battle with this thing. And I can honestly say that we have a love-hate relationship. Like sometimes we really get along, but sometimes this is like the bane of my existence. I don't know. I feel like changing your sleep patterns is such a drastic thing to do. And it probably takes a lot of like muscle memory and dedication. And it's definitely been an uphill battle with this thing. As of right now, I do still sleep with this. I don't sleep with it every night, but. But I try my best to use this as often as possible. Most of the time I usually wake up with it on the floor. Some of the time I wake up and I'm using it as like a side sleeping method and probably 2% of the time I'm actually, I'm actually using it properly as a back sleeper. Okay you guys, I'm back. I had to go close my windows really quickly because there were so many loud noises going on outside, but I'm back. Also, um, hold on a sec. What the heck is going on right here? What in the world? I don't even remember scratching myself or doing anything to cause this you guys give me a minute while my skin calms down <laughs> okay you guys i'm back that's a little better where was i this pillow took me at least a week maybe two to just get used to sleeping with it first of all i didn't know at first if this was the front or the back so i didn't know if i should be sleeping with the bump right under my neck or with this like flat part right under my neck and i was actually sleeping with it the wrong way for the first like three nights maybe four nights i was sleeping with it like this which is not the correct Way. you're supposed to sleep with the bump right under your neck already there was lots of user error going on with this pillow which i think contributed to how uncomfortable it was for me in those first few nights honestly it's a tough transition you're gonna have sleepless nights you're gonna be waking up over and over and if you're really like committed to using it it can just really impact your level of sleep when you use this so i don't know if i can really recommend this or how much it really works for me Doing this pillow experiment gave me some insight into, into my sleep. For example, that one night when I fell asleep with headphones on and slept perfectly with the pillow all night really made me realize how much sound impacts my sleep. Because when I had those noise canceling headphones, I was sleeping like a dead person. Like I didn't move, I didn't turn, I was just out like a light 
woke up in exactly the same position and had a great night's sleep. So really looking into the other factors that play a role into your sleep, I do think could be helpful on your back sleeping journey or just in general. I mean, sleep is such a huge part of life. We're sleeping for like a third of our life, right? What's the what's the quote? You're, you spend a lot of your life sleeping and it's such an important time for your body to heal and regenerate. Getting good deep sleep is just so important for your health and wellness. And when you layer on top of that, skincare, acne fighting, anti-wrinkle, all of those kind of skin concerns, sleep also plays a huge factor in it. So even though my experience has really been like a roller coaster, I did learn a lot about my sleep. This pillow retails on Amazon for $79.99 without the pillowcase and $99 with the pillowcase included. I did not get the pillowcase. I just put my own pillowcase on this and it fits perfectly and looks so cute. So I would recommend saving your money and just getting your own pillowcase. I saw also on Amazon that there were options to get this used. So you can buy it used, you can buy it new. I think used was like 50. Um, This pillow is not cheap. This is a very expensive pillow. And honestly, I don't really know how I feel about it. Do I think it's worth it? Kind of. I feel like it's so hard to train yourself to sleep differently than how you've been sleeping your entire life. You were probably like sleeping like that in the womb or something. So it's kind of a pattern that's not very likely to change or will take lots of discipline and commitment for you to change it. So if you know in your heart that you are dedicated and willing to go through as many sleepless nights as it takes to train yourself to be a back sleeper, I would recommend this. Would I recommend this exact pillow maybe i don't know i haven't tried other pillows honestly i don't think that this is the most comfortable pillow mainly because <laughs> i'm not a back sleeper so any pillow really that's promoting back sleep isn't the most comfortable to me sometimes i feel like this neck bump is too high so it's like creating a bend in my neck and making it a little bit uncomfortable for me i do like these bumps on the side however because you can kind of rest your head on them and be a side sleeper without fully smashing your face so i do like the side panels that hold your head in. I'm just not completely sold on this neck bump. I've seen a lot of different types of beauty pillows. Some are like U-shaped with a hole for your face to go in basically. And you can sleep on your side, but your face is kind of protected in this little hole. I would be interested to try out one of those and see how it compares to something like this as far as comfort levels go. But yeah, I'm not 100% sold on this beauty pillow. I just feel like it's expensive for no reason, you know, like this is pretty much just a basic memory foam pillow. Yes, it's nice and foamy and like has a nice texture to it, but I'm not really sure why the pillow is this price. Like what's so special about it that makes it $80? At this point, I am a little bit discouraged on my journey to becoming a back sleeper. Honestly, I don't know if it's a realistic goal and this pillow definitely made me realize just how hard it is to change your sleeping patterns. I haven't given up entirely. I will still keep and continue to use this pillow. I think I'm gonna look into getting some sort of earplugs or something like that because I think a tool like that would really improve my quality of sleep regardless. So maybe those in addition to this pillow will Will magically transform me into a back sleeper but honestly guys I just don't think it's a super realistic goal <laughs> so yeah let this be your experiment let me be your guinea pig I tried this so that you don't have to I mean if you want to definitely do it like I said I'm still gonna keep this and I'm still gonna use this and I do think it makes a teeny tiny bit of an improvement but I sadly did not become a back sleeper in three weeks time using a beauty pillow so yeah, that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you're interested in all things beauty and skincare or just wanna get to know me more, be sure and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. I've actually been posting twice a week for about a month now. I know, I know, stop. <laughs> guys, that's a big achievement for me. I've kind of been struggling with consistency for the past year. I'd be like posting once a week for three months and then I'd disappear for two months and then I'd come back and post for 
two more months and then I kind of disappear for a month. So in the past, things have been very on and off. So it's a big achievement for me to stay consistent and committed to you guys. I love making these videos and just hanging out with you. So yeah, lots of exciting new content in the making and coming soon. And I will see you next week with another video. Bye.